Hello, in this video we're going to cover how to integrate Chart Boost really easily using the Cocos Helper for your Cocos 2D JS project. First of all, you want to make sure that you've actually set up the Cocos Helper. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a video link in the description so you can go and check that out and get it all set up. Once you've done that, you want to go to the. Oop, don't want to do that. You want to go to the Chart Boost website, just chartboost.com. There'll be a link in the description for that as well completely free to register once you're all registered go onto the website and you want to click add app select a platform it's iOS for this video there will be a separate video for Google Play as well so check that out if you're interested in Android Dev and the app nickname this basically says it right there it's just going to be a reference on this dashboard so I'm just going to put tutorial JS iOS helper and for a bundle ID, I'm just going to put tutorial.com.ios or whatever your application bundle is, orientation, you can put both if you have both applications. And if you were to put both, it says what's the general default application, but let's just leave you a landscape test mode. You generally want to enable test mode when you're obviously just testing it, then make sure you disable it because otherwise you won't get any money. Click save. Now that you've saved it, we're going to need this app ID and app signature in the settings file. But before that, open up settings, I mean campaigns, go to publishing, go to add campaign, network publishing. And what you want to do is then add a campaign for every type of video, that, I mean every type of ad that you want to display. So we're just going to do one for static interstitial, it's pretty simple, the, the rest are very similar as well. So if I were to just put full screen add campaign there's a lot more information that you can set but generally just leave it at the default ios obviously that's fine and by default it selects your application but you can add it to others as well go down click save and that chart boost side it's all done in terms of the website but i'm not going to actually use the app that i've just created and the simple reason for that is what we found is when you create something on Chartbus and other ad networks as well, sometimes it can take a little while to f just start working, sometimes 5-10 minutes, and generally that's okay, you can do something else, go and uh, have a little snack, but for the purpose of this video, we've already got one created, which is uh, done using the same process, but it was done before, so we know that it's had enough time to propagate. We actually have an app, uh, app bundle ID, so let's just put one test.ios.com js click save so we're going to need this app id and app signature but before we need that you want to go to the folder that you extracted and downloaded from github go to the ios section go here and unzip the chart boost file in there there'll be a chart boost framework copy that go to xcode right click on frameworks paste it into there then drag the Chartbeast framework that you just pasted into the framework folder on Xcode. Make sure the options for this is the same as mine. Click finish. And now it automatically adds it to the build phases link binary with libraries. If it doesn't, just add it manually yourself. Go to the settings file. Just need to add, enable Chartbeast here. So true. And next to it is a comment of all the extra frameworks we need. We'll be adding them in a moment. Scroll down, we just need to input the app ID, which is right here, and the app signature. If you just want to know how to get to this if you're on like a different section of your app, let's say, let's just say I'm looking at my campaigns. What you do is open up app settings, basic settings, and there we go. So to finish the setup process, all we need to do is add store kit, foundation, core graphics, and UI kit. So let's go here, build phases, link binary with libraries. So store kit the framework. Then your foundation, which is added by default. Then core graphics again, which is added. UI kit, it's added, but it's red, so we'll just remove it and then add it properly. So UI kit the framework. And now we're actually ready to run it. I'm just going to build it while we go to the app.js. When I click the menu button, we're actually going to display a full screen ad. So dot chart 
boost dot show full screen add in this video we'll be covering the full screen ad but if you want to know what other methods are available go to the sonar frameworks.js in there the search for char boost so we got full screen ad video ad show more apps so that's an easy way to see what methods we have available so we're ready to run this bad boy now So our application has loaded, you're going to click this button and it will show our full screen ad. There you go, we got our full screen ad that is playing. You might be thinking it's a video, um, full screen ads can be videos as well because obviously you got the, the more conventional rewarded video and then you got the mini sort of interstitial video which afterwards actually shows you a full screen ad as well that game is actually good 10 10 so there we go there's our full screen ad x so if i were to click it again it shows a different ad so let's just turn that off that just crashed because the way I closed it didn't close it properly. So it's that simple to integrate Char Boost into your application using Cocos Helper for Cocos 2D JS. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.